didn't really let anyone else, you know, control my fate. Just kind of went out there and, and took it with 600 to go and just wanted to see kind of how I could push and, you know, couldn't quite drop everyone, but, you know, it happens. Um, the result in terms of time, did you have a number you were thinking about? No, you know, it's all about place now. Um, you know, my PR last summer was 3.55, so a little bit off of that, so I can't really look at the time, right. but um, yeah, I'm definitely happy with it. It is your best finish at, at Nationals. It is, yes, yeah. You know, yesterday was a, a tough day until the DMR for, for the Ducks. Yeah, no, yeah. But, yeah. but you, know, you come out and, and, and get some points here. The men and women got points late last night. You uh, think maybe things have turned a little bit for you guys? Yeah, we're hoping. Um, you know, we don't have the numbers that we usually do here, so it's going to be tough to like contend for a podium spot, but it'll be fun to see how things shake out. And like, yeah, my job as a senior is just to kind of set the tone, and I'm happy I was able to do that. Thank yeah. you very much. Is this your last race as a duck? No, I'm no, eligibility outdoors. Okay, I wasn't so. sure because <laughs> I'm sure what Reed said, he's a freshman, you know, so you never know exactly. I was yeah. like, I thought he had outdoors. No, yeah. Um, yeah. How do you rate today? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not quite satisfied, you know, I've been here for five years, so definitely wanted to get a national title um, by this point, and, you know, just got to be happy with third place and, 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 and yeah, just putting it out there, um, but, you know, it kind of gives me some things to work on for outdoors and uh, into the summer. Yeah, so what, what was the sort of plan when you guys sort of started pushing, what was that, like, three laps to go, four laps to go? Yeah, I think Reed took it at about 800. Um, I mean, it was rolling pretty good before that, so... Did you know he was going to do that? Yeah. Yeah, so he was supposed to, you know, like, just kind of, we're supposed to share the lead blast, like, 800 of the race he was supposed to take from 8 to 6, and I was going to take it from 6 to the finish, ideally. And, you know, it's good practice. Couldn't quite pull it off. You know, you know, everyone else did a good job of countering that move, so it wasn't, like, anything devastating. Um, I think it was just my fitness wasn't quite where I needed it to be for that type of finish. Now, Doors, what are the... And the goal just to win? Or what, what, how do you approach the season? You know, just contend again, you know, just yeah. stay healthy, get to the final, and come up with another race plan and then contend for the win. I think can't really look too far ahead and just take it day by day. So, not a huge guy on setting long term outcome goals, you know, just kind of uh, make it to the next workout and to the next race. Yeah, and I'm, not, I'm excited, yeah. You're not healthy or whatever. You right, know, yeah, you, you gotta take not the little things first. I forgot to yeah. ask you, did you and Reed want to? Get Josh back for Edward for last year. Did, did, did <laughs> no, the Ducks some payback? Or? Yeah, we just kind of learned from those races. Like we, we looked at that race and um, you know Ed's race two or three years ago with Toronto. So kind of looked kind of what worked for those guys. And I think taking a long way out, especially when everyone else is doubling from the DMR, was kind of the idea. Um, but I mean, everyone else recovered pretty well, so yeah, it didn't quite work, but worth a try. Yeah. Is it different not having Ed around? Or did you work out with him a lot? Or yeah, you know, towards the end of his career, he was pretty much by himself on workouts. He was just you know. Three 52 shape, another level, so he kind of um, split off towards the end. So it was a nice transition, you know. He's he was a great leader. I mean, just having that personality around the track was was huge for us. And I think we've kind of taken our own identity now. And you know, some of the younger guys are are going to take over the program next year. And I think we're in a good spot. We have the talent, um, and definitely, I think. About the same numbers at Nationals as last year on the distance side of the program, so I think we're in a good spot. And, 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 and Ed's still around Eugene's training, so we don't, we don't um, miss him too much. But yeah, he's, he's a big loss as far as the points go and you know having that um, expectation of like national national champion. So yeah, he was, he was nice to have around. Yeah, like 20 points is kind of a... Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> makes the team look really good, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. His indoor season, did that... Was anything he does surprise you or what? I mean, it, it was inspiring. Right. Um, I mean, not... Not too surprised. He was trained pretty conservatively in college, so I knew he had another level to get to after college once he started training a little harder. And I mean, if he ran 352 last year, um, 349 shouldn't be too surprising, but right. at the same time, number two all time is incredible and inspiring. Yeah. All right, good job, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it.